Alright, in this video we'll be covering the repeated measures, also known as within subjects design. Now the key feature of this design is that every single participant is in all of the different experimental conditions. Now the major advantage this creates is that if you have more power to detect anything the independent variable is doing. And this is because all of the different subjects are acting as their own controls. So you don't need to worry about individual differences in sampling error to any of the same degree that you would. Now the downside is that there are a whole new list of internal validity threats that come from participants being in both conditions. These are broadly called time, order, and carryover effects. History is a type of time effect wherein something happens when they were measured in one condition but not the other and change scores. Since you are measuring people twice, they could also mature from when they're measured one time to the other. Another issue with multiple measurements is that when you have an extreme measurement, the next one always tends to be less extreme. They regress to the mean, so to speak. Also, it may be the case if you're giving a task that participants just get better at the task with multiple attempts at it, or they could just get tired and do worse. They might also recognize that they're in two different conditions and change their behavior based on their own comparison. Also, it's possible whatever manipulation you're doing creates a permanent change in your participants. This would entirely mess things up. Now, to help deal with this, you have to do something called counterbalancing, such that these time and order effects are controlled for methodologically. Now, counterbalancing in sort of a dirt simple definition is you have to change the order of the conditions from one participant to the next.